It might be late to the party, following the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, but it does boast a number of unique and very interesting features. Welcome to the all-new Genesis GV60. This shares the same platform and some components with the other two, but it's all wrapped up in a distinct Genesis design. Luxury is of course amped up considerably in comparison too. For this video, we're having a quick look at the flagship GV60 performance variant as part of the official media launch event, hence the car being all dirty. It's powered by a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery and features two electric motors with one at each axle. Combined, and when boost mode is activated, the system produces an impressive 360 kilowatts and 700 newton meters. It's no wonder it wears big 255 40 Michelin Pilot Sport tires. However, we can't help but wonder why it doesn't come with the 430 kilowatt setup given to the Kia EV6 GT. Surely the flagship brand within the group should get the flagship components, at least as an option. Nonetheless, you won't be disappointed by the performance here. And check out this interior. There are a number of color combinations to choose from, with this example showcasing a unique navy blue and yellowy green combo. You may have noticed the side mirrors are non-existent. Instead, it uses live cameras. And then down on the center console is a masterpiece, the gear selector. It rotates around automatically to expose an exquisite crystal ball, which is used to navigate the massive touchscreen on the dash. Like its siblings, the GV60 is much bigger inside than you might think. The flat floor really opens up the space and perception of space, making it feel really open and uncluttered. Rear seat legroom is excellent too, with more than adequate headroom. We like how the armrest houses a neat cup holder at the end with the climate vents neatly tucked away on the B-pillar. This example also shows off the awesome 17-speaker B&O sound system. It sounds fantastic. Being an electric vehicle, you've got two separate cargo areas to utilize. The rear compartment here presents 432 liters, expanding up to 1,460 liters with the rear seats folded down. There's also some underfloor storage for the charging cables, and a handy tie-down net and 12-volt socket. Up at the front, it looks like an engine sits under here, but in fact, it's just a cover for some additional storage. There's a few conventional service components under here too. During this event, we snuck away to run some initial 0-100 to tests with the V-Box. However, we are aiming to conduct our usual full tests in the near future. In the meantime, this is what it goes like. <laughs> 